of the Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered the arrest of the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Hmm, my people, another new video is here. <laughs> another new video regarding the 2020 election that took place on the 25th of February is here. <laughs> the court have finally ordered for the arrest of Mr. Yakubu, <laughs> the INEC chairman that drew the, you understand, the battle blow that happened in the course of the election. The court have finally ordered the arrest of Yakubu due to the fact that nobody that president that have a 25% vote in Abuja. So I would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video. Showing you the video of where everything is set A to Z. You sit by yourself. If you stay connected, you can share this video. If you can let it go viral. Let it go to different social media platforms. And if you can share it, just like it. So that it will be recommended for us. Stay connected. Welcome you back to Lajibong Wash TV. I don't have bad news for you today. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lightbox. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Lightbox Watch TV. For those of you that are coming up on the channel for the first time, ensure you click the red subscription button on your video screen and don't forget to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in your time. YouTube will easily let you to know the update I have for you today. Hmm, is the, uh, the political zone. A lot of things are happening in course of 2020 election. Hmm, you know, Peter B is in court trying to fight for his mandate, writing for the Senate, and all that. You know, that one is not really more in news. But what actually happened is the fact that, you know, the orchestrator of everything that happened in the course of the election was INEC. INEC share my mama Yakubu. A lot of things. Only blind eyes. To a lot of things that happened because of the election, the Chinanaga and the voters' intimidation, the vote rigging, and all of that that happened in different places across the nation. Mama Yakubu turned a blind eyes to all these electoral malpractices and, at the end of the day, announces someone illegally as the president elect. You know, it was said that Tinobu did not have 25% vote in the federal capital of Nigeria. Why did they announce Tinobu as the president elect? That is the question, and, and that is what happened in court. Today, Mama Yakobo was asked some series of questions by the judge regarding the 25 percent of the federal capital of Nigeria. But Mama Yakobo attested to the fact that nobody can be announced as the president elect unless the person has 25 percent vote in Abuja. But when they asked him question on why he announced Tinubu as the president elect, even when Tinubu did not have 25 percent vote in Abuja. There is no answer to be provided, but according to the court now, the court have seen Mammon to be guilty. They declare Mammon Yakobu, the Iron Shaman, to be guilty of this fact. And it keeps flying on media that Mammon Yakobu will be arrested any moment from now, even when the court decided that DSS and CBS and all of that should stop their investigation on Mammon Yakobu because it's already in the court, you understand? But now, it's flying on air now that Mammon Yakobu is on the run like they want the arrest of mama yakubu i would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video because i'm going to be showing you the video of how everything happened now over there if you can share this video and show it shared let it go viral you can share it give it a thumb up like it so that youtube will recommend it for us there is always a light at the end of the tunnel and the light is already on our doorstep over there stay connected coming back again I'm of the Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered the arrest of the Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. At the resumption of proceedings on Tuesday at the Presidential Election Petition Court in Abuja, Atiku's lawyer, Itayo Jagede San, told the court that INEC's refusal to provide electoral documents to its legal team is frustrating the suit, despite paying INEC 6 million naira for the certification of the documents. Article who came second in the February presidential election is challenging the virtue of tenable of all progressive congress. He is also accusing INEC of manipulating the results in favor of tenable. During the court session, the five-man panel led by Justice Arunata Samani, in that Jagade from 10 piece by piece sensitive documents for 21 local government area of Kogi states. Tasamani said the court will need to help marking and numbering the documents as exhibits. In his response, Jagade said Atiku had paid 6 billion naira as a cost to supply true certified copies of electoral documents, but the electoral umpire has refused to make all documents available. This was after the Luke and Seth sought to tender some result sheets used for the conduct of the presidential poll in Ampa, Dekina, Ida, Ofu, Lamaboro, 
Yagba East, Yagba West, Yababono, Igala Odulu to substantiate their case against Tinubu. He therefore sought a 24 hour adjournment to further request the necessary documents from INEC. The respondent, INEC's lawyer, Abaka Mahmoud, a son, Tinubu's lawyer, Wale Olani Pekun, and APC's lawyer, Latif Agbemi, both son, did not object to the request for an adjournment. So, uh, right now, direct from court, make we begin the dive in. I don't want make we waste time today because time don't pass since morning. Many things they happen for court today. These things where they happen today for court, you need to hear them. Um, I tell you, truth don't they come out small, small. INEC has admitted by the starting of that question of this INEC, they have admitted by saying we agree with me. We agreed with him, 25% is required. And we also agree with this witness that uh, Atiku did not get, according to their declaration, Tinubu did not get it, according to their declaration, it is only P2B that got 25%, according by them in FCT. He took yeah, over the court. Made, I, I yes. just wanted to make a point that yes. he made the 25%, sorry. Yes, so he, he got the number that gave him 25 place percent plus. He has about 70% of FCT, meaning, meaning about 70% of the a sample of Nigeria put together uh, voted for him. Because Abuja, the federal capital territory is a hub for all nigerians every nigeria have a seat in abuja that is where the national assembly sits as a matter of fact the seat of democracy is positioned in abuja and that seat of democracy is the the national assembly because even during the military era we have the executive we have the judiciary the only thing they destroy is the legislature and that symbol again represented itself during the election whereby about 70 percent of the entire itself during the election whereby about 70 percent of the entire nigeria using abuja as their hub shows one man and i neck that declared a different person as the president declared someone who did not even make the same who did not even make up to 16 percent and this INEC knows the truth even if they don't know prior to the election a renowned lawyer a senior advocate of nigeria Kopa, wrote INEC and said please can you explain to the electorate the implication of fct and the vote coming from fct before the election and INEC refused to respond till today because INEC chairman knew that if he had committed himself by explaining what he what is the truth which is what his lawyers are pointing out here the moral burden that would be so heavy on him to declare somebody president when he knew the truth he took advantage of the law that gave him the right to return someone as elected and the moment he makes that declaration and give that person the certificate of return even if the person were to be his younger brother who did not participate in the election it would only take the courts to annul that particular declaration and he knew that the court process in nigeria could take as much as six months to resolve so mahmoud the INEC chairman knew when he vehemently and abusively made someone president despite the fact that he knew that that person has not fulfilled the 25 percent requirement according to the constitution that he claimed and swore to defend God, so he imposed on nigeria a president who will serve for at least six months before he's removed or maybe if the court rules in the person's favor for the next four years it was a script that that INEC chairman acted INEC ask witness where pdp man carry come say whether he knows say now 15 percent nine article score for fct the man can tell him say, say yes yeah, say no i neck can't ask him again i neck go now i neck can't ask him again say hmm. if you know say your principal article score 15 percent why you can't the same could declare and president when you know say he's supposed to score up to 25 percent 
Now, in the guy come to Cabo, come ask us, uh, you will make another person praise the person when you make praise the you get 50 percent. So, I like, I like, you like, they hear me so. Yes, yes, I hear you. So now, 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 everybody for court. Be like, say everybody for for ground begin laugh. Now I come tell them say I know the mm. waiting they ask him. Waiting they ask him, they say why no say uh, I think no score 50, up to twenty five percent. He can't they tell him make it declare and present. Now he can't ask him say ah, oga oga I neck. If he good for you, make you make another person president when no score. Why not go good for you? Make you make our own man president when you no know score up to twenty five percent. Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. I believe you really enjoyed the video that I've just finished watching. You should look at the video very well. You know a lot of things were said regarding the I next chairman, the person of my mom, Yakubo. <laughs> this man is the orchestrator of everything that happened in course of the election i've never seen a situation where a lot of things happened in the course of the election they were voters intimidation voters oppression a lot of shenanigans a lot of bullies voters bullying by a particular party and yet the INEC chairman did not cancel the election and he did not cancel any voting unit where all these things came from a lot of videos circulated on twitter a lot of videos came out on twitter where some people are bullying some other party and all of that some people use talk to suppress voters some people use talk to intimidate voters a particular party do all these things yet i next announced their candidate as the winner of the 2023 election and now i next chairman released the certificate of return to the person of Bola and Mentinobu. Now the case is in court. It's normally knows that the case is in court and Peter Abu is trying to fight out his mandate. And you know, a lot of players come out to speak for Peter Abu. But the issue is this the judge asked any chairman some series of questions which he had no answer to. Why is it that he announced Tinubu as the president elect and released his certificate of return to Tinubu after Tinubu did not have 25% vote in the federal capital of Nigeria? It was only Peter Abu that has 70% vote in the federal capital of nigeria even atiku did not have up to 25 percent vote atiku of pdp did not have 25 percent vote even tinubu of apc that is now the president of nigeria now you know greatest some days ago did not have 25 percent vote and that thing is in the constitution are we saying that nigeria democracy is not constitutional anymore it was only peter Abe that had 70 percent vote in the federal capital and he won more than 13 state as far as the result is concerned you know it was some days ago that the peter will be lawyers and you know all of that in the tribunal they brought out a lot of evidence because the court gave them an ultimate on where they must provide 50 evidences regarding i mean 50 attestators regarding the rubbish that happened in the course of the election now peter will be provided his first evidence apparently the second attestator now today is the third they brought in a lot of electoral documents that lead to the rigging of the election the labor party brought everything inside the court and this alone make bola amenable to be shivering in some hours ago today now the news is flying up and down media and that mama yakubu is to be arrested by the court and you know this same mama yakubu when the election was going on when the electoral processes were going on this man read the votes like there are some places that they didn't read the vote and there are some places that they just jump and they just give the number you understand there was a particular video where dino melai of pdp was questioning mamon yakubu like you know the video circulated on media the video got a lot of views on media where this guy was questioning mamon yakubu regarding the electoral numbers like the voter number that mama yakubu was calling for apc in favor of apc you understand this man turned a deaf ear mama yakubu the INS man turned a deaf ear to dinam like that man has a prior right from time you know it was some years ago that was four years ago that they wanted to arrest mama yakubu because he did not appear in court this man have never obey court order right from time that pride is in him likewise the same pride following him down to the 2020 election but the table is turning already for obedience peter abi is in court fighting mama yakubu bola mentinobu kashin shetima apc as a o is fighting the process that brought Tinubu in as the president of nigeria what do you guys think do you really think obi is going to claim back his money even after tinubu have been inaugurated 
Me puedes poner en las conversaciones desde la sanguina, desde que te dan la tienda de Follow Show y follow me o mi social media handles. En Facebook, en la página de la página de la página de Instagram. Y por eso, guys, see my next video. Bye.